Welcome back everyone and in this video we're going to be talking about all methods for getting your reputation level up as well as what they do. So with that being said let's just go ahead and start off with it. Reputation level is something that unlocked during the Los Santos Tuner update and is actually something that can help you with unlocking clothing, vehicle trade prices, vehicle modifications, and even jobs. So each level does give you a slight bonus or something that you can do for unlocking it. Each time you get a level you get $5,000 and after rank 100 you will get $10,000 and every rank after 200 will award you $20,000 and right now there are over a thousand levels. So starting off with this the first one is going to be by making sure you enter the LS car meet each day. Each time you get a 50 reputation points for doing it and you just have to make sure to do it once a day. The second method is by buying all different types of clothing, you know, things that you can unlock and stuff. And each time that you gain a level, you get something new for clothing. And each time you get a clothing unlocked, you actually get a certain amount of reputation points. The next method for getting reputation points is by test driving all of the vehicles inside of this little area. It shows all the new cars coming out, but I think at this point, we actually have everything unlocked. So just go ahead, you test drive it. No, wrong, wrong button. So you test drive it, and then what this will do is it'll give you a bit of reputation points just by entering the test track with one of these vehicles. So you see here, I got around 50 reputation points just for doing this, and I somehow got that much for doing a reputation bonus. Now, once you're inside of the test track, another one that you can do it is by starting up a time trial. What this will do is going around it once will give you a slight bonus to reputation points, but this only works once. Not only do you get reputation points by completing a time trial for one of the test track vehicles, you also get it by doing it with one of your personal vehicles, and this will only count for once a day. So you see there, for completing it, I did get a little bit of points for this. But of course, this only works through one lap. So once you're done with that lap, then you can actually just go ahead and leave the test track. Next on the list is going to be modifying your vehicle inside of the LS car meet. It only works by customizing this inside the LS car meet. And all you need to do is change one thing. What I like to do is go over to my actual license plate over here and then changing it to just one of these just because they're the cheapest and they're just probably one of the better ones to get and you see here for doing that you do get a small bonus and just for talking about it i did gain one level so you see here for actually getting it it says i got the trade price unlocked for the rt3000 as well as one of the auto shop contracts were unlocked so you see here just for getting one level Gives you just an assortment of stuff that you can buy from it and that you unlock. One of the final ways and probably one of the best for me at least is by going and doing the race. So if you go over here to this race organizer you can start a street race series or a pursuit series. These both will give you reputation points by completing them. And if you guys want to do this but are not at the LS car meet you can go ahead press options go to line. Go to jobs, go to play jobs, hit rocks are created. Head down until you find races. And you just want to scroll up until you find either the pursuit or your street race series, which will be over here. I think this is something that a lot of people didn't realize you could just go through the options and start it. But you don't have to go to him specifically for it. And you can just start whichever one you want. But we're participating in any street race. The first time gives you 75 RP and the second time gives you only 50 but doing this each time does add up once you start doing them. And these usually take around 4 to 5 minutes to complete. What makes these races so much better than doing all of the other methods is that unlike with, you know, with participating in a race or whatever. What makes the races so much better for leveling than it does for, you know, going inside the Ellis car meet each day. Is that with this, you can do this over and over and repeatedly, and you can keep doing as much as you want. 
unlike all of the other pass methods where you only could do it once per day or once for the vehicle. So with this one, you could just do this as many times as you like. And as long as you're a decent driver, then you should be good to go. One recommendation for this is do not put low grip tires. This will make it extremely hard to drive. And even though the low grip tires are really made for drifting, they are definitely not made for street racing. So just do not do that. I see a lot of people with racing have that issue where they just put that on there. They slide all over the place and it's really hard to control it. You can see there on the bottom right hand corner, I got an additional 75 reputation bonus for completing it. And the good thing is, I, I keep saying good thing. What, and also one issue that people keep thinking is that you don't have to be in first place to get that reputation. All you have to do is participate in it and you get 75 the first time and then 50 the rest. Let's go ahead and move on to another method that I actually forgot to talk about in the first couple minutes. I also forgot to mention in the other part, as in you were able to bring a test vehicle into the test track, you also get a reputation bonus from bringing your personal vehicle into the test track as well. Now this only applies with one personal vehicle and the personal vehicle has to be one of the what was it called? Los Santos Tuner Vehicles that was added for the update. It has to be one of those vehicles. It can't just be a random vehicle like that. So you see there for driving in, I got a 50 reputation bonus. And you can also do a time trial for the personal vehicle if you want. That'll also give you some extra points. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then feel free to like and subscribe. I try to make this as entertaining as possible and try to cover everything in all methods for gaining reputation levels and reputation bonuses. If you guys have any comments or concerns, please feel free to comment down below. Or if you want to reach me personally, you can reach me through my Instagram. Link will be down in the description. And one final question before I do in this video is what level are you guys in reputation in GTA? So with that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there and goodbye.